What's up, y'all? Welcome back to We Shoot Films. Today, I want to show you very quick and easy a way to create 3D titles inside of After Effects using the third-party plugin called Element 3D. Now, Element 3D is not a free plugin. You got to go to videocopilot.net and purchase the plugin. Now, once you do this, you can do a whole bunch of stuff in After Effects. That's just amazing. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to use Photoshop. Um, you can use any kind of photo pro program, but I just happen to use Photoshop. So anyway, let's go. We're going to create 1980, 1920 by 1080. Hit create. All right. Now we're going to come here to text. And if this is black, hit this right here and just turn it to white. And let's click. And I'm going to write the word tutorial because that's what I'm doing. Actually, I want to do it in caps myself. So there we go. Now, if you're in Photoshop and you don't see these transform things here on the side, if you don't see those right up here, say show transform controls right here. Just click it on. All right. If you want to create like a line just for the heck of it i'll come down here create a new layer then hit this right here square and just create a line just drag something out and then go back to your paint bucket make sure it's in white we want white we only want it in white okay deselect hit that to deselect it and then uh, click your move tool again. Now to double this, all you have to do is click Alt on your keyboard, left click and drag down. Now in Photoshop, it's gonna tell you when it's even. Right there, it's telling me it's all even. Now I believe in Mac, you would hit Control and left click. I'm not a Mac person, I am a PC man. All right, don't judge me, you know what I mean, don't judge. Anyway, we set. That's all we got. Tutorial. Let's save it. File. Save a copy. We're going to go down to PNG. And label it. And I'm going to place it on my desktop. All right. I already had it there. Now we open up After Effects. All right. We are in After Effects. Now, After Effects can be a real crazy program as far as it takes a lot of resources from your computer. If you got an old computer, I don't know, you might have little problems. Um, usually, if you want to get into start doing like a little 3D work and stuff, you want to up your video. I mean, you want to up your computer, you know, so just letting you know it could be a headache sometimes. But anyway, this hit up here. Composition, new composition, 1920 by 1080. All right, if we see this, this just caps lock. We have effect controls and project. We are working in the project for now. Now, go ahead and import the file that we saved to the desktop, label tutorial, and bring that down. All right, now we got it. It says tutorial. Here we are. Now we need to trace this. Good thing they have trace. Go here to layer, auto trace. And I'm gonna keep it, it might be on alpha, I'm gonna put it on luminance, all right? Um, you could put this on one, okay? And boom, it's traced in it. It traced it. Now, I need you, now we need to turn this off. All right, now we're gonna create another layer. Layer, new, solid. And let's label this element 3D, because this is what it's gonna be. Element 3D, hit okay. Now this is element 3D. Now here, again, right here, you can turn this on and off. Yours, depending on the version of After Effects you have, it might be on the left side. So, you, you know, you got to just see what, what it is. And up here as well, I got it on final quality because it just gives me constant good quality. If you're on a slower computer, you might want to try adaptive resolution. Just, just a heads up. All right, so we got 
Um, this here for Element 3D, we want to go to our effects and controls up here. If for some reason you don't see these, go to window and pick them out here. Okay, just pick them. But anyway, effects and controls, let's go effect, video, copilot, and element. It's going to pop up. There we go. Now you want to come down right here, custom layers. Click custom text and mask. Click on the first one, hit tutorial. Close this up, all right? Then we just go right here, scene setup. And this is element 3D. And right here it says extrude. There you go. As fast as that. You know? And right here, you turn this off, you get you create more quite better quality. But if you got a slow computer, leave them off. Alright? Leave them on. You can do a whole lot more, but I want to keep it simple for you right now. This is the basics, okay? Then you go to presets and you can have, um, you can buy pro shaders or like textures for your, your 3D models or whatever you're doing. They're like textures, uh, materials. Like I like metal. So, you know, you could place some metal in there. And there we go. We got some metal going on. You know what I mean? I also want to tell you about this. That's your Y axis. It's up and down, Z is back and forth, X is left and right or right and left, whichever way, all right? Now that'll be your W on your keypad. Your E is gonna be able to do all of this stuff, you know, turning it around and doing all that crazy stuff, all right? And then your R in the middle, it's gonna proportionally raise it or, or you can stretch it See, do whatever you want to do. All right, just mind you know those controls. So that's W, E, R. Those are your controls. I'm gonna hit W and bring it a bit higher. And uh, that's it. If you wanted to create, um, let's say you wanted to create a, uh, I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Let's say you wanted to create a plane, which is basically a floor. Up here it says create hit the plane you see that now you're gonna hit the R key go in the middle and just spread it out see and we can make that anything we just made it into that or you can you can do anything like literally like it's dope I love this stuff man like I love it but I'm gonna stick to my concretes and you can buy all kinds and they just look amazing. And if you want to double the plane up, like let's say you want to create a back wall, you hit Alt, the Y, left click and lift, all right? Now, we want to turn it. So you're going to hit E, Shift, hit Shift so that it does it and snaps. It snaps it, see how it's snapping? If you don't hit shift, it's just gonna be all over the place. So you know it's perfectly, perfectly gonna be like that. Now look at this. Let me show you this real quick. Sometimes this happens. You see where you see it, then it disappears. You're like, what happened to the wall? All right, you wanna make sure it's picked. Come down here on this wrench and hit two-sided plane and that'll fix it, okay? You'll see it, all right? All right, so I'm gonna push it back. I'm gonna hit W. I'm gonna push it back. I'm gonna grab my model. I'm gonna bring it up. And you can create walls. You, you can do all kinds of stuff. When you start getting into this stuff, I don't wanna get too crazy. I wanna keep it simple for you. So that's, that's where it's at. And then when you're ready there, pretty much you hit okay. Now it's cra looks crazy, but okay. You gotta create a camera. So come back up to layer, new, camera. You can stay at 35 millimeters, all right? Now up here, these three control the camera. Now you hit this and it's gonna go 
left click, forward and backwards. Okay? We pretty much want something like this. When you click this one, it's gonna bring it down. Oh, now we see the floor. When you click this one, this is the orbit tool. It's gonna pretty much let you orbit, all right? I'm gonna leave it like that for now. But you could bring this closer. You could do all kind of movements. You could keyframe these things so that they move and all kind of stuff, all right? If you wanted to see more, you could double click. If you don't like the way the camera is, like a real camera, you could double click the camera to go back into it and go and get a wider shot. 24 is gonna be wider, so you're gonna see even more of it, okay? I'm gonna leave it at 24. So, that is a basic of creating a 3D text in After Effects. You know, it's, it, that, that's, that's your basic 3D text. There's a lot more you can do. You know, as you get into it, you know what I mean? Um, oh, I want to show you this too. Now, I don't want to forget. Go back to your Element 3D layer, all right? Go to Render Settings. Go to um, Shadows. Enable. If you have a good, decent video card and you have Ray Traced here, choose Ray Trace. It's always going to look better. Then go here to ambient occlusion, enable it. Again, if you have ray trace, pick ray trace. It's gonna be better. And close those up. And then there you go. That's, it looks even better. Now you wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and give you another scoop. Go new, light. I'm gonna create a digital light. Hit, hit cast shadows. Okay, look at that, the shadows up here. Now you go to your light, make sure you press the light. The light's way back here now. Oh, Lord, help me. Oh. So you gotta bring this back some because the light's over here. Okay. Once you learn the controls, you get to learn everything. All right, go back to this tool whenever you're ready to grab stuff. And see, as, as you grab it, you know, you're going to be able to, your Z-axis is going to go in. Like I said, you know, it's up to you. You got to get into learning this stuff. And, you know, you can get it to, you can grow and learn and, do a whole bunch of stuff with this man. It, it can be it's it's real fun. You know, I don't want to get too I don't want to get too ahead of you, but you know, if you need it if you need to diffuse that a little bit more, you can go right here, show diffusing. You can diffuse it, you see how it diffuses the light so it ain't so harsh. You know, now it's a nice soft. And see, the quality is going to depend on what you do. Because if you go back here, you're like, damn, that look ugly, though. You go to your shadows. You can put your sample rate up, you know. And that's going to clean it up. See how that cleaned it up? But when you do that, it's going to make your computer work even harder. So I wouldn't do that at first. I would keep it low. Um, so that your computer don't have to work as hard, you know what I mean? And then when you're ready to, when you're ready to render it out, that's when you want to get that real crispy, perfect look. But for, you know, I could do it because my, my computer's pretty good. I ain't gonna front. But anyway, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to show you a quick way of how Element 3D, you know, you could use it to create 3D titles and stuff like that hopefully you know you thought it was interesting and it can help you out in some way if you have any questions any comments make sure to leave them in the bottom uh, section I'll, I'll definitely respond other than that i would appreciate if you subscribe hit that bell on the side so you get notified on time and like i always say it is what it is <laughs>
I'm out.